we're going to play with. Um, those of you that are into fly fishing, of course, will recognize mayflies. Um, Canada wide, 21 families, 82 genera, 335 valid species known. This was um, for the Biosurvey of Canada produced a update on the status of Canada's insect fauna in 2019. So these are probably accurate to 2018. And they said they expected to have 66 undescribed, so completely new to science and or not recorded species from Canada. All right. So you think, geez, that's a fairly substantial addition yet. But the question is, what's known from Alberta? Well, when you start looking at the Alberta fauna, you'll probably realize that Dr. Evil may have been a mayfly taxonomist who has torn out all his hair and decided to do something easier, uh, like world domination, instead of working on mayfly taxonomy. Um, the order, the taxonomy of groups within it is constantly changing and occurrences of species are a bit of a mess for Alberta. Um, we've gone through what's published, we've gone through a bunch of the uh, databases that are available online, including CABIN, ABMIs, uh, a few others. Uh, some of the museums like the Strickland. As far as we can see at this point, 17 families known, 63 genera, and at least 148 species. And again, these are all very common species in Alberta, very common genera. Um, as you might guess, these are the gills on the side, folks, for those of you that don't realize that, okay? So what would happen, do you think, to an organism like this uh, if it was in a silty river getting it all of its gills covered with silt? Okay, we'll come back to that one. Stoneflies. In Canada, again, using the same survey manuals, nine families, 79 genera, 267 species. Again, you can see with this group, in some species, some genera will have visible gills, some won't. 34 species likely undescribed or unrecorded. Again, doing a deep dive into the literature, um, you end up seeing nine families, 59 genera, 125 species minimum. So we're getting up there close to half the known species for Canada occurring in Alberta, as far as we know. Um, reality is going into these databases. What we found is there are records in them, if they're accurate, um, that basically aren't published in the scientific literature. And that's true for all the things I'm talking about today. So caddis flies. This includes these apotanids that I was showing you earlier. Isn't it cute with its little house here? Um, 25 families, 636 species. And look at the number of undescribed or unrecorded expected. Okay, phenomenal. And look at the range. A lot, a lot of this has to do with uh, things like e-stream and barcoding. Um, saying we have a whole bunch of barcodes that we can't match up to any known species from Canada. And at this point, they're saying certainly, I think with caddis flies, we have a large number of the described species barcoded. So that's where these shocking high numbers come. So going back to our apotanids, this is a bryocophila. So that's one of the potential predators of an apotanid. Fearsome looking little fellow, but can be paralyzed by a little guy basically in its own little house. Um, so in Alberta, 17 families, 77 genera, 277 species. So if we go back, 277. So we're getting close to half the known fauna 
for the country actually occurs in Alberta. The only province with more is BC. Uh, I think we should argue to be number one and try and find some more records. And I suspect we will fairly quickly. Final group we need to really focus on are chronomids. So these are non-biting midges. Um, these again would be another a case for Dr. Evil to tear his hair out on. Um, 798 described species known from Canada, 2019. Expect at least, they said, at least another thousand. So in other words, more than doubling the known fauna. Again, based on barcoding and just a lack of taxonomic work on the morphology. So Diane and I did a deep dive from Alex and Cheryl. I'd love your comments on this one later. Um, at least 149 genera, as far as we can see in the province. All the catalogs and whatnot, you might as well throw out the window because they're so out of date. Um, and probably at least 500 to 600 species, I believe was Rob Hinchliff uh, said he expected in the province. Um, so that might have changed, but 149 genera. Imagine how many species. So next 